Welcome back everyone, it's Jennifer McGuire and today I have a technique for you that's great for all those little stamps that we have on the stamp sets that we've collected. And we're going to do some repeat stamping with some colorful inks to form a completely different look from these little stamps. Here's the card we're creating. I'm going to show you how to do that circle of hearts and also how to add a little fun bling to the center of each of those hearts. And finally, the stenciled um, envelope that you see there in the background that perfectly matches our card. So let's start with a piece of white cardstock. Any white cardstock will do. And I'm cutting it to four by four inches. This is just an easy size. And I'm going to do a small note card. So I am going to draw lines down the center of my piece here. So I'm using my T ruler just to make some marks. So two inches from one side and two inches from the other side, just drawing some light pencil lines just to make a plus sign in the center of our card. After I've done that, I want some lines going diagonal too. This will really help with our circle stamping that we're going to be doing. So I'm, stamp, or I'm just drawing a line from one corner to the other to create an X. So now we have lots of guides that will really help us when we do this stamping and really make it easy. Next, I need a light pencil line in a circle that we can follow with our stamping. So I just grabbed a set of circle dies and I'm tracing one on here. This size just looked about right, so I just went with it, but you could trace anything that's circle. Now I have this perfect little heart image from the Simon Says Stamp uh, set here. I thought there were lots of great images on here. And I'm going to stamp this heart repeatedly along the circle. I decided that I wanted to do bright and go with a rainbow look here. So it was really important that I planned out what inks I wanted to do so that they would space out nicely here. So I grabbed all my ink swatches. If you've never seen my video on how I organize my ink swatches here, I will put a link to it so you can check it out. But this really helps me in finding the colors I need for my projects. So what I did is I went through and I picked out eight colors that worked in a rainbow here. The reason that I did eight is because I broke down my background into eight sections. So it just divides up nicely. And I will actually end up stamping each heart twice in each color. So you'll see how it comes together here in a moment. Now I am going to have my stamp cleaning solution on hand so that we can clean in between each stamped heart. This is the Hero Arts scrubber pad. I spray the Hero Arts Ultra Clean on one side. On this side, I will rub my dirty stamp and then clean it off on the other side in between each of my stamping. You'll see me do that. I just wanted to have it ready. So I'm starting with the first color I picked in my rainbow, which is Hero Arts Bubblegum Ink. And I'm just practicing stamping. I'd never used this stamp before. I think it's always good to use a stamp before you use it on your card. So now I need to stamp this at the top and the bottom of my little circle guide here. I'm going to erase this area because I think it's better to erase it before you do the stamping so that none of the pencil is trapped underneath the stamping. So I am going to ink this up and line it up with the circle that we've done here and also the lines on my grid here on my uh, block will line up with the lines that I've drawn on my paper. It really makes it easy to line this up perfectly every time. Next I'm going to clean my stamp off before we move to the next color. I normally don't take the time to clean my stamp that well, but since we're stamping this same one over and over again in different colors, I really want it to be clean. Now by nature, clear stamps will stain with some inks, but that doesn't mean that the ink has to transfer from one stamped image to another. Now it's time to move on to the next color. I'm actually going to skip one. So I'm going to skip the dark pink and move on to the orange, which is Simon's uh, orange peel color. I'm skipping the one in between because this one will stamp on the line. So I can stamp right along the lines and then it's easy to figure out where to stamp that dark pink between them. So now I've cleaned off my stamp once again. That orange was kind of staining the stamp there. So by cleaning off, I can be sure that the color doesn't transfer to the next. So it really makes a big difference to clean it well if you are moving between colors. Okay, so now that we have the light pink and the orange, we can go do the dark pink in between. So I'm going to go ahead and erase my lines and you can see that the dark pink fits right between there and it's easy to line up. Now if I would have made my circle smaller, you would have some overlapping of the hearts, which I think is really cool because when you overlap these inks, you get really cool effects. But I picked a circle that was a little bit too big for any overlapping. I'm going to continue this pattern by going on with the green, which will stamp along the line here. I'm skipping yellow and I'll do that next because it's in between the other two. So I'm stamping this with the Hero Arts Green Hills. And then the yellow, I actually end up using the Hero Arts Butter Bar for the yellow. 
Now I'm using Hero Arts and Simon Says Stamp inks together because they're the same formulation and they just stamp very similar so you get good results between the two and using them together. So I'm moving along here. I did the blue stone wash from Hero Arts Heart. And now between those, I am using the Hero Arts Soft Purple. And then I ended up using a different green for the Simon Says Stamp. I actually used Green Leaf. I planned on using Fern all along, but I decided that was too dark. That's the nice thing about having ink swatches for all your inks, because you can easily find out if the color is perfectly perfect for whatever you're doing as you're working. And by the way, when I link to my ink swatch video, you can go to my blog and get free ink swatch downloads for many popular inks. So all you have to do is print them out on whatever white cardstock you like to use, cut them up, and then you have ink swatches ready to be stamped. Okay, so now it's time to add a little bling onto the center of these hearts. Now I was inspired by something, some artwork I saw on Pinterest for the circle of hearts, but I thought it was kind of simple on this card. So I decided to take this heart glitter from Martha Stewart. I really like this heart glitter. It's great for shaker cards. But I decided to add one of these in the, each of, in the center of each heart. Now that seems kind of crazy because these are tiny little glitter pieces, but I have some tools that really make it easy to put these down. Now I have some multi-medium, which is my favorite strong adhesive for sequins and glitter, and I've smeared some onto my work surface. Then I have this micro brush that has a small little tip of um, like a piece of foam or something, and I dip that into the glue, and that allows me to put a tiny little spot of glue exactly where I want it on the center of each of these hearts. Now you could use some other tool with a fine tip to add a little bit of glue, but I really like this, and I can clean off the tip and reuse it if I want to. So I'm just using a quick sticks. It's got a sticky end that allows me to pick up the little heart and put it right on the glitter or right on the glue exactly where I want it. So by having these tools, you could use tweezers too if you want to. It really doesn't take that long to add this tiny little heart into the center of each of the um, uh, in, in the center of each of the stamped hearts. And what's great about this glitter is it's kind of iridescent. So it picks up whatever color is behind it. So the little heart on the pink heart looks pink, the little heart on the purple heart looks purple. It's just something fun to add to the center. Another option here would be to stamp an even tinier heart on top with a slightly darker color. Now it's time for the sentiment in the center. I decided to keep this very simple. I have this wonderful sending lots of love image from Simon Says Stamp. My friend Christina designed these. I just love this set. And I'm going to stamp the sending with my favorite black ink, which is the Hero Arts Dye Black Ink. I'm going to stamp this in the center, and I'm using the grid of the mat that is behind my craft sheet to kind of help me make sure that I'm getting this nice and straight on my card and right in the center of the card. Now, my stamping wasn't perfect here, so I'm going in with a black pen to kind of color over the areas that didn't stamp well, and nobody will ever know. Now, I'm going in with lots of love to kind of finish off the sentiment here and stamping that right under the sending. Now I wanted to put this onto a pink note card. I've cut one that is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I've cut a small piece of white fun foam that just has some dimension to it. And I'm going to sandwich that between. And this will give us a nice raised even um, dimension to this piece and kind of pop it off the card. So now our card is complete, but there's one last thing I wanted to show you. I love to make my envelopes match my card. So I decided to put lots of little hearts on the front of an envelope. So I have a Hero Arts white envelope. They're my favorite because they have a fun little flap. And I'm going to take this stencil from Simon's Stamp and I'm going to tape it on to the front of the envelope just to hold it in place. Now once I have this taped on here, I'm going to add some ink over the stencil, just doing it very quickly because we don't want to spend too much time on the envelope. I'm using a sponge dauber to kind of dab and move around some of the Hero Art shadow ink over the hearts on this stencil. Now you'll see I'm not spending too much time to do this. I don't need it to be perfect, but I'm going to try to put the ink down heavier towards the top of the card. So it's kind of ombre. It kind of starts dark at the top and goes light towards the bottom. So I've got lots of dark ink towards the top and I'm just doing a little bit of color towards the bottom of the envelope. So I'll be able to write the name of the recipient down there on the bottom and it'll be able to show through. To make the hearts towards the top even darker, I went in with the same sponge dauber and the darker pink ink and added some just to the hearts at the top. And this really helps with having that effect of dark hearts at the top and lighter ones at the bottom. And after you remove the stencil, you can see the fun soft hearts that you have on the envelope just to kind of add a little bit of interest. But this is a great way to get more out of your stencils by using them to decorate your envelopes. 
So there you have a way of using small images and stamping them in a repeated pattern to form a circle shape, and also some fun ways to decorate your envelope. If you're interested in the products I use, I linked below in my YouTube description to everything, or you can head over to my blog at Jennifer McGuire Inc. for much more information. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I hope you'll come back soon.